It's time once again to slip into your camo, grab your bow, and join us out in the field for another episode of the Up North Journal, presented by PSE Archery. The Up North Journal crew is knocked and ready to rock for another exciting adventure. So let's step outside and hit the trail. Hey everybody, Dan DeFaw here, co-host of the Up North Journal. And you're tuning in to a mini podcast where we're going to elevate your game in the archery world by listening to a tech tip from PSE's own Bobby Vargas of the PSE Marketing Department. So stay tuned and listen in. Welcome back, everybody. We're back for another PSE Tech Tip, and we got Bobby Vargas back on the line again from Arizona. What's going on tonight, Bobby? Hey, Mike. How are we doing out there? It's a, it's a nice, warm evening out here in Tucson, Arizona. Uh, we're hanging out in Michigan. You know, we're uh, we're thinking about archery season. I mean, when aren't we thinking about archery season? But uh, this week, I got a question for you about string care you know how do we take care of our the strings on these bows i mean we got some high performance strings now and w- when should we consider changing them that, that's a good question there's there's so many great string makers out there now and uh, um you know, a lot of people think that if they got a good custom string they don't have to take care of it but you know, it's even more important to take care of it then you've invested in a good set of strings take care of it it's just like you know changing the oil in your car and keeping everything else uh, uh, cleaned up, you know, preventative maintenance, basically. So re- really, um, you know, a good set of strings can last a guy a couple of years, depending on, on uh, how much they shoot. Um, just what we usually recommend is every every 5,000 shots or every year, whatever comes first. But strings have gotten a lot better over the years. We still kind of like to hold to that 5,000 shot uh, time frame, um some people will take; they will do that in a year, and some people will take them two or three years to shoot that much. But uh, really, um, it's hard to put a time frame on when you should change them. But if you're using your bow a lot and you're keeping your strings clean and you're keeping them waxed, they'll give you a lot of good use and a lot of fun out of that bow. But um, really, you just need to keep an eye on it, just like you know. Uh, no one knows how long a set of tires is going to last you. You just need to watch it until the tread is gone. So you need to keep an eye on your strings, watch them for frame, you know, look at your servings around the around your cams, uh, make sure your servings are still ni- nice and intact, look at the strands on your string, make sure you don't have any busted strands. A uh, frayed string isn't necessarily a bad string, but um, you know, keep it waxed, keep it clean, but... Some strings will get to the point where they're just so dry and frayed, no amount of wax can take that that uh, that dirty, worn-out look to them. And if you get to that point where a little bit of wax can't clean them up a little bit, then you're definitely due for a new one. If you have a strand busted, definitely new, due for a new string. Uh, a lot of times, uh, if cam servings have come undone and you and you've worn into the 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 strands of the string at that point definitely time for a new one but uh yeah if you keep it clean and you keep it waxed uh keep your keep your bows out of your car especially if you live down here in tucson when it gets to be 140 inside your car during the day don't do that with your strings because you're going to stretch like crazy but otherwise just keep an eye on them uh keep them clean keep them waxed and you'll get a lot of good use out of them now, you, you mentioned servings. Um, when you get serving separation, is that something that we can kind of push back and work back together? Um, or is that something, that if it keeps doing it on a continual basis, that's, is that one of them times that we need to th- start thinking about a new string? You know, that's a, that's a good point. A lot of times when you get serving separation, and, and um, I'm glad you mentioned that because a lot of folks think that uh, when the serving separates are on the can, then, then there's something wrong with the can, something wrong with the bow, or something wrong with the string it's really really not the case if you think about the load there's over a thousand pounds of load on those cables when you're when you're drawing it back and think about the load you're putting on those cables as they're bending over modules bending over the curves of the of the cam so you're putting a lot of pressure on those serving so even your best custom string out there will over a lot of time and a lot of a lot of shooting start to separate a little bit and most of the time, like you said, you can, you can get that string off that bow, and you can push it back down and, and get it back into good working condition again. But, uh, yeah, and, unless unless you can't push it back and have it stay and perform for you uh, uh, for a while, then it's probably time to either get it reserved, or if you're at that point where it just won't stay tight anymore, you're probably due for a new string anyway. Okay. Well, 
question about wax. Is there a, a particular kind of wax we need to use, or is there anything we should stay away from? Um, you know, there's really not much out there that, that, that you want to stay away from. Um, your, your, your typical old beeswax that, that you can get from any of your local retailers works really, really well. Probably some of the better protectants out there. But there are a lot of companies out there that have some really nice synthetic materials now that, that work really well. Uh, pretty inexpensive, and uh, they'll keep your strings nice and clean and, and waxed and, and taken care of to All right. uh, make it last long. Well, that sounds like some great advice and things to, to keep uh, keep your bow running. You know, we're talking about, like, changing oil and changing tires. You know, you got to keep that string lubricated and clean, get it get it run smooth, and uh, keep an eye on it, I guess. So that way you're good out in the field. Exactly. All right, that'll do it for this tech tip. Actually, I'm going to make an edit there. And, and don't forget, you guys can always go over to PSC's YouTube page. You got a lot of videos over there. If you got anything that you're looking for, make sure you search through there, so you, can, you might be able to find something over there, and, and you can actually see it instead of listening to us sitting here talking about it. Uh, sometimes a visual is a really great aid uh, to kind of work you through some of those things you're, you got a question about. So don't forget to go over to PSC's YouTube page. That'll do it for this tech tip. Thank you, everybody, for listening to that tech tip in our mini podcast. And if you'd like to hear our full-length version podcast, come on over to our webpage, upnorthjournal.com, and you can check out all our full-length version podcasts there. And also, anything else that we like to do, come on over to our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts, and you can check out many more things that we do in the outdoors. So give us a listen.